guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is september 11 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here the streets flooded with wine hold on give me a second here guys let me just play this video really quick look at this the streets flooded with wine We are seeing more and more biblical events. Nation against nation, great earthquakes, volcanic activity of burning mountains in various places in the world. And guys, I know this one here, this is some kind of a spilled, but uh, just looking at this red wine, you know, the first thing that pops in your head is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the rapture I do believe is imminent with all the crazy stuff and event that's going on nowadays uh, is very important that people start putting on the whole armor of God. This is not too far. If I'm not mistaken, this is not too far from Morocco that have seen that uh, 6.8, 6.9 magnitude earthquake. Uh, I do believe Morocco is like on the northern part, uh, excuse me, Portugal on the northern part. And then you have like Morocco in the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me just read the rest of this. It says here, you have streets flooded with wine after tank burst at La Vera, Portugal distillery. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. And I just posted a video not too long ago and talking about wine. Um, this one here is uh, very important. There is a couple of doomsday plane going on here in our country but not only here that's happening over at russia you have doomsday plane in the air um and russia just turned off their transponder mid-air all right mid-flight so this is some serious stuff here and i just made a video very important you guys check it out uh many people are heading towards like the mountain but not many people, but they are preparing to take the very, very important people um, towards the mountain. That's where the bunker is at. And remember, uh, the book of Isaiah, many people will head towards the bunker. And uh, I know that prophecy has been fulfilled. But when trouble time comes, when, let's say, war, nuclear, or let's say the wrath of God, people run towards the mountain. They head inside the caves and they tell the mountains to fall on us, to hide us from these world events or hide us from the wrath of God. So um, many of these people hide inside the cave in the mountains or they hide underground, which is the bunker. So many, many people are preparing, uh, very powerful people are preparing. This is their mountain. They have bunkers in there. It's not only happening here, it's happening Excuse me, it's not only happening in Russia, country is happening here too. And we're getting more information that uh, 420,000 soldiers, we're talking about Russia has deployed 420,000 soldiers in Eastern and Southern Ukraine. So you best believe something big is coming. And uh, again, all the links will be in the comments box if you guys wanna check it out. All right, let's go back with this story here. Uh, once again, you have winemakers. La Vera uh, was due to bottle the 2.2 million. Man, 2.2 million? Wow. Uh, 2.2 million liter uh, when the giant tank suddenly gave way in Sao Lorenco, the bottle on 10th September, and this is the moment a flood of red wine surged down a street in Portugal after two massive tanks with enough booze to fill a swimming pool burst. Yeah, we're gonna see what's going on here, and I'm definitely not clicking on that link. That link gave me a hard time, gave my computer a hard time um all right so yeah uh definitely not clicking that one hopefully this one here doesn't give me a hard time because usually uh this article here which is uh uk if i'm not mistaken they do give my computer a hard time and all the viruses and stuff 
all right so we're gonna see what's going on here guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for sharing the video. And thank you so much for your support, either through Patreon or PayPal. Thank you so much. Your support truly helps out. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, red wine. I'm in shock. Nobody is out there with buckets. No one is out there. No one is out there. Usually those booze drinker, no kayak, nothing. All right. So it says here, which is a good thing because uh, getting drunk, really drunk is a sin. Painting uh, the town red. Incredible moment, a river of wine flows through Portuguese uh, village when distilleries, uh, 2.2 million liter tanks burst. All right, here we go. The wine would have, look at this, the wine would have nearly filled an Olympic swimming pool. A lot of money. A lot of money uh, lost right there. <clears throat> Winemakers painted the small Portuguese town of this region red after two of its tank accidentally spilled 2.2 million liter of red wine down a quiet street. A fast moving river of red wine flowed down a steep uh, hill in a small town near the coast of Portugal after two tanks owned by La Vera Distillery suddenly gave way on Sunday. Baffled locals looked on as the wine nearly enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool swept through the streets of the town. Now let's stop right here, all right? Hopefully nothing happens to that small town. Hopefully it wasn't some kind of stuff that they pour, pour in there and now all of a sudden it's going to be bitter, bitter water. So hopefully this is an, an accident. But stuff like this, you know, when things happen in the world, it's hard to believe what's true, what's not. and I mean, look at that. Unbelievable. I know Captain Jack Sparrow um, will be happy to go in there. Uh, so the spill was so massive that local officials trigger an environmental alert and were forced to divert the wine to stop it um, contaminating a nearby river. There you go contaminating and uh i didn't even read this article to be honest guys so um hopefully everything goes well in that small town so an idea fire department blocked off the flood and diverted it from the river where it ran harmlessly into a field reports local media damn One thing I tell you guys, I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not a beer drinker. I'm not a liquor drinker. I'm none of that. I'm just a, I'm just a water drinker. I can't even drink coffee. But uh, the only thing I drink is like Celsius, which is like a workout drink thing. And you know, it's it's not like Red Bull, but uh, it's you know Celsius, and you know that's the only thing I drink. And besides that, you know. I had wine and, uh, you know, they say one cup of wine a day is good for your heart. And uh, is it true? Well, again, scriptures does uh, talk about wine. The scripture also talk about not to get drunk. Some people just go to the extreme. I was reading the book of Samuel, first Samuel, when uh, Hannah was praying to God to uh, give her a child. And then you had the priest, Elon, came and he saw her. And she was like, she was talking 
but nothing was coming out of no voice nothing and he thought she was drunk and he's like woman will you stop drinking too much wine what's wrong with you and she's like no sir uh, i'm just no my lord i'm just um uh, praying uh to uh my father in heaven to the lord all right and you guys already know god has blessed her with a child named samuel all right look at that man all right so you have firefighters said that a basement in a home near the distillery was flooded with wine uh lavia uh, has since apologized and said it later dredged the wine soaked land we assume full responsibility for the costs associated with cleaning and repairing the damage having teams available to do so immediately we are committed to resolving this situation as quickly as possible though the river of wine uh could have caused an environmental mishap uh experts have said that drinking a wide gravity of red uh, red wine is good for your gut <laughs> Uh, you're giving, you're giving a bad idea here to many people. Just imagine that person that has that, that wine in his basement, like, filled with wine. He's probably going to swim in there and just drink it. Uh, not a good idea, though. The Spectre Professor of Genetic Epi uh, Epidemiology, I actually apologize if I said that wrong, at King's College London said that drinking a wide variety of wines may have the same benefits that having a varied diet does my advice for wine lovers he said is keep loving wine and still drink wine primarily for the pleasure let me stop right there all right this is like some kind of advertisement stuff um wine is an addiction that could lead to certain issue all right that could lead to a very bad addiction of alcohol so um you know i wouldn't recommend people to drink but from what i heard that uh, a cup of wine a day a small one does clean your heart and does clean your you know and but uh again it could lead to you know the next day having two cups and then three cups and then a whole bottle a day uh, i know friends that you know buy two bottles a day uh, of wine and that's an addiction so um some people know how to control themselves some people don't so i wouldn't say uh go ahead and drink no i wouldn't say that all I, again all i'm saying is uh these things could be uh an addiction and does hurts or destroys families so again i mean look at noah i mean the man drank a lot in his uh, vineyard all right so it says, but at the back of your mind, think, could I be trying uh, different bottles or varieties that might actually be healthier for me and that I might enjoy? Yeah, water. All right, so diversity is also important. If you take the uh, analogy from foods, having a range of different grapes, varieties in your diet means that you are going to be helping different guts. All right, so basically some good thing for your health. So don't just stick with the same wine. Get out there. Try the hundreds of thousands of different grape varieties that we generally don't enjoy. Or maybe just fasting and praying will help your health a lot better. All right, so let's get those rare ones back on the map because each of those could be helping you nourish really healthy gut um uh, microbes inside you and improve your health well again exercising drinking a lot of water fasting eating healthy i mean like i say you don't need wine for that but uh yeah like i said uh you know just fasting fasting is a lot better a study led by professor specter's team in 2019 involving participants in the uk us and belgium uh, found people who drank red wine had a wider range of gut bacteria, which is linked to better gut health. This was not seen um, for white wine, which may be uh, because red wine has the grape skins left 
in for most of the ferment, uh, fermentation process. So that high levels of polyphenols, plant compounds, which are good for the gut and can reduce the inflammation in the body linked to poor health in older people. How in the world did we went to a massive spill wine to advertising wine uh, to good health? Well, anyways, uh, I know, you know, I know people that uh, still drink wine and older people drink a lot of wine. Uh, again, a cup of wine and, um, you know, Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow, he drinks wine. I'm kidding, guys. But uh, again, this is where we are right now. So they're going to clean up the mess. They're going to repair the damage of those people's houses. And... It was an accident, I guess, but uh, yeah, a small town, Portuguese, uh, they seen uh, red wine coming down that uh, street and filling the houses and basement and all that. Uh, but again, this video is not to recommend people to start buying red wine and get drunk. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that this is the news that's coming out and, um, you know, the blood of Christ and uh, the bread and, you know, that's biblical stuff and this here um again just seeing this the first thing that popped in my head was our lord and savior jesus christ and uh, i do believe that the rapture is imminent now again this was i don't think this was from god but uh again this is something that uh according to the company it was an accident and kind of spilled so that's where we are right now you can tell this house right here they got a lot of wine Look out, a lot of wine out there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Open your heart to Jesus Christ. Believe in him, for he is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but, but through Jesus. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.